Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video I want to create a frame-by-frame uh, -frame animation using Flash. So, let's see, I've got a blank stage here, nothing too exciting going on. It is December 13th when I'm recording this, so it's two weeks away to Christmas. Let's do a little Christmas tree with some uh, twinkling Christmas lights. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and create a few layers here. On my bottom layer, I will have a tree. And the middle layer, I'm going to have some lights. So bear with me just a bit here, and I will fix this up, and I'll show you what I'm going to do with that third layer. So I'm going to go ahead and lock down the layers I don't want to work with, and I'll head over to frame one of my tree layer. I'm going to create the most beautiful tree you've ever seen. It will involve a nice dark green, a black stroke, and um, let's see, I will choose, you know what, I think I'll just use a pen tool. Yeah, I'll just do a little pen tool. Let me increase that stroke size to about three. And I will simply click. Uh, where's, oh, I'm not on the pen tool. I'm on the rectangle tool. Let me get that pen tool again. And I will click, click, click. And making myself a tree and finish the loop. I'll use my selection tool and I'll just kind of clean things up a bit. And a little angle to that. That's not too bad. And um, let's see, I'll free transform tool and just make this a little bit bigger. Give myself a nice plenty of room to work with kind of thing. Oh, let's get a little line down here at the bottom. A little fill bucket action. Fill that in green. Fill the bottom part in brown. Excellent. That is the best tree I've ever seen. Okay, I'm going to lock down that tree layer because I'm done with my tree. Actually, before I do that, I think I will jump over to frame 48 of that uh, tree layer. I'm going to press F5. F5 inserts a frame, continues that tree because I want that tree to be visible for all 48 frames of this animation, all two seconds of it. Okay. Now I'll lock that tree layer down and I'm going to jump over to my lights layer. Okay. And let's see, how am I going to do this one? For my lights layer, let me unlock it, go to frame one. And off to the side, I'm going to create a Christmas light. I'm going to use an oval tool. And the stroke is going to be thin, like about a one. And for the fill, I'll start off with um, bright yellow, just so we have something to work with there. And I'm going to draw a little oval. Okay, that'll work. And then I'm also going to draw a rectangle that has no stroke, but it does have a fill of black. I'll draw a little rectangle, use my selection tool, and I'll just use the arrow keys on my keyboard to position this little rectangle tool right over that. There we go. That's pretty good. So there's my little, uh, my little light. And it is kind of big, you might be saying, so let me just transform tool and I can scale this puppy down and of course we can always zoom in a bit if we need a little bit more fine-tuning make that rectangle a little bit bigger there we go good enough and uh, a little bit skinnier there we go Okay, so we've got that, and I think what I'll do here on my lights layer, I'm going to go ahead and take a, uh, okay, and I think I'll just use a line tool here, and I'm going to go ahead and draw a couple lines on my tree, and then I'll use my selection tool, and I'm just going to add a little bit of bend to these lines. And these will be kind of the strings for the lights. There we go, looks good. And now it's simply a matter of placing the lights on the tree. So I've got one light down here. I can go ahead and select this and then move on. So I'm going to go ahead and position that first light, then I'll click on it, hold down my mouse, hold down my control key, let go of the mouse, let go of the control, excellent. And then I can hold down my shift, get the two lights at once, Hold down the mouse, hold down the control, and I can kind of grab two at once. There we go. A couple more. It's okay if they're a little bit off. And I'll go to these one of these other lights here. 
using my shift key to make sure I get the whole light, hold down the control key, or hold down the mouse, then the control key, and I can kind of position that one there, and one there, and what the hell, it's one up there in that corner. Use the arrow keys just to position a little bit better. Okay, so there is my Christmas tree with its lights, and that's on frame one of my lights layer. Now, I think I'm going to do a little trick here. I'm going to actually put my bulbs on a separate layer. So I'm going to go to my lights layer and just deselect. And using my selection tool, I'm just going to click the yellow parts. I'm going to hold down my shift key, and I'm just going to click the yellow parts of the bulbs. And I'm going to control X to cut, and I've just cut them out. I'm going to lock down that lights layer, go to my bulbs layer, go to frame one of my bulbs layer, and I'm going to choose edit, paste in place, and I've pretty much reassembled them. But check this out, it's going to make our life so much easier. I can go to my lights layer, frame 48, just press F5, make a keyframe, extend it out. Then I go to frame one of my uh, bulbs layer, and it's just selecting the bulbs. Then I'm going to go about every five frames or so, and I'm going to press F6, F6. Click on frame 10, F6, frame 15, F6. F6 inserts a keyframe. So I'm just inserting a bunch of keyframes. And they're in frame 48. And then I can go to frame 5. Notice when I click on frame 5, all of my bulbs are selected. I can just go ahead and change the fill color over to something else. Frame 10, change the fill color, something else. Frame 15, a little blue action going on. Another one, hey, how about some white lights? There we go, white lights. Yellow. Bright green, sure. Anything you want, bright red. Bright blue. Bright white. And this is kind of a frame-by-frame -frame animation. Now, a real artist, a real animator might do a frame-by-frame -frame where it's literally every single frame right next to each other. So you'd see just a whole bunch of dark dots. There's a bunch of keyframes that are filled in. But this is a pretty good example of a key of a frame-by-frame -frame animation. So basically now when I run my movie, my Christmas lights are going to change at every keyframe. I'm not using a shape tween, I'm not using a motion tween, it's simply a frame-by-frame -frame animation. Have fun!